Welcome to the course Basic Science Chemistry. This course is developed for the Diploma Engineering students to develop the competence to solve the various broad-based engineering problems. After completing this course, that is Basic Science Chemistry, learner will be able to apply catalysis process in the industries and also they can apply corrosion preventive measures in the various industries, use the engineering material in the industry. So these are the course outcomes which is developed after completing this chapter. Now in this, uh, this course is div uh, divided into three topics. First topic is chemical bonding and catalysis. After completing this topic, learner will be able to explain the various properties of material depending on the bond formation means here we are going to cover the various bonds that is electrovalent bond, covalent bond, coordinate bond, metallic bond, hydrogen bond, van der Waals forces and depending on that bond formation various properties of material can be explained. Okay. After that learner can be able to describe the molecular structure of solid, liquid and gases. Here we are also going to cover the various crystal structure that is simple cubic, face centered cubic, body centered cubic, hexagonal. Uh, so this structure of uh, crystal structure of metal and the properties reflected by the packing atoms is also covered in this topic. Last but not least, after completing this, they can use the relevant catalyst for various application in the industry. In second topic, the name of that topic is metal corrosion, its prevention and electrochemistry. As our country is losing 200 crore rupees every year due to the corrosion. So to overcome the problem, this topic is included in this course. So after completing this topic, learner can describe the types of corrosion, they can identify the factors affecting the rate of corrosion. Also, protective measures to prevent the corrosion for given corrosion medium can be learned by them. Differentiate electrolytic cell, electrochemical cell can be easily differentiated by the learner. They can also distinguish the primary cell and secondary cell. Also, they can describe the process of electrolysis and its application like electroplating of the given material to prevent the corrosion. All this is covered in the topic 2. Topic 3 is the uh, various uh, material, non-metallic material which is uh, useful for the engineering work. These are paints, varnishes, insulators, polymer, adhesive and lubricants. So, after completing this topic, learner are going to describe the different ingredients of the paint and their functions, how the properties of paint can be improved, which material or which ingredient should be added to improve their functions. Okay. Similarly for the varnishes also, after completing, after finishing this paint and varnishes, they can differentiate between the paints and varnishes. Okay. Uh, they can Describe the properties of insulating material for the given application. Next, mm, structural for polymer, various structural polymers can be differentiated by the learner. They can understand the process of polymerization, explain the properties and uses of polymers, elastomers and adhesive and uh, applications of various adhesive for the given material and also they can explain the properties and uses of the lubricant. Thank you.